Hey guys, Shane here from Pocket Knife Review. Just wanted to bring you this video today on my EDC pouch. Um, I want to start this by saying this is not a survival pouch. This is not a bug out bag. This is my actual EDC pouch. I take this with me everywhere I go. Um, when I was working full time in the automotive industry, uh, working with a car wholesaler, this thing was a, a lifesaver for me. This was not to keep me alive, guys. This pouch was simply put together to make my life a little simpler. A little easier a little more comfortable um, I am a smokeless tobacco user so I keep a fresh can of dip in the front every time I buy a new roll at the end of the week I swap this one out so I know it's always fresh um, another thing I found super handy to keep in here that I also have to change out as I use it is one of these little uh, one of these little toothpicks that's super handy to have you you have a toothpick and some floss whenever you need it can't always brush your teeth, but that's always a huge help. So I keep one there, and like I said, I just throw it away when I get home and put a new one in. So let's open this thing up, see what we got inside. Um, you're going to notice a theme with some of this stuff, guys. This is not the most heavy-duty, um, going to last you forever type stuff, because that's not what this bag was put together for. I'll explain why I chose to put what I did in here. Um... You know, I'm going to start with this hand sanitizer. The reason I did that, I'm sure all you guys know, you know, the recent pandemic, it's always great to have some hand sanitizer on. You never know what kind of situation you're going to get into. I often leave in the mornings and come home in someone else's car, a total stranger's car. Um, I like to have hand sanitizer. Um, you'll notice my little nut driver here. That's the CRKT brass nut driver. And I keep an extension in it and just some flat heads and Phillip heads. This is not a knife maintenance kit. I keep this because it never fails when I show up to meet somebody at the bank, purchase their vehicle, they would always still have the tag on it. This came in really handy, get the tag off. Um, every now and then, you know, you, you get there and somebody's put those stupid 10 millimeter bolts in their tag. That's what I keep a pair of knife picks for. Guys, you guys all probably know what knife picks pliers are by now. Um, I'd love to better show you a brand new pretty pair. But um, I've been using these pliers for about 12 years, and they still work great. They are a little bit large in this pack, but I want to show you something. Something that's gotten really popular here lately, and I don't have a problem with it, but the difference between the next smallest size of Nipex and what has gotten really popular now in these 4-inch, I'm just going to lay those right there. Guys, these things are super tiny, which makes them super convenient. However, they are super limited in use. You just can't get much torque on these things. Um, I still like them, but uh, they make my they make my job hard if I have to use these. So I keep this larger pair. I like them a whole lot better. Always keep a black sharpie. You never know what you're going to need a sharpie for. Um, so that comes in super handy. I keep a uh, Pilot GE two pin. It's all I write with is G two pin. When we write something, I don't have a G two pin. You're out of luck. I'm not doing it. Um, I just keep a small O-light in here, guys. The only reason I have a flashlight in my pack um, is not so that I can see to walk through the woods or something that I need to the battery to last forever on. Literally, uh, when I would meet people to purchase their vehicle from them or whatever, um, you know, if it was dark, I like to go around it and make sure there's no dents or scratches or horrible paintwork that they're trying to hide, and that's why they're meeting me at night. So... I don't need a huge flashlight. I don't need a super bright flashlight. I just need a little light. Uh, the silver Sharpie. Not many people carry a silver Sharpie. If you see a guy with a silver Sharpie, you can almost bet he's in the automotive business. I'll tell you why. Silver Sharpie shows up super awesome on a car windshield or the side window. Um, I would write notes on these cars. Sometimes I drop them off uh, at the lot at night. And if I know that there's a particular check engine light on or a bearing noise or a bad tire, anything I experience bringing that car back that, uh, that needs attention, I would simply write it on the window with a silver Sharpie. And I know that the guy that got it the next morning would see that. You'd be surprised how often writing on the window with a black Sharpie gets missed. Not with a silver Sharpie. All right, guys, this is just a snap on pick. Um, I could go over hundreds of uses for a pick. I'm sure you guys know what a pick is good for. This one's not super needle sharp. It is sharp enough that I can I can poke a hole in something if I need to. But um 
I mainly keep that to keep me from having to ruin the, the, the tip of my knife. As far as my knife goes, um, you're going to be surprised that I keep such a small knife in here. But keep in mind, I, I, I said, like I said, this is a purpose bag. I've got a more utilitarian bag. Um, this is really all the knife I, I, I ever need. Um, the few uses I've used a knife for when doing this line of work is, uh, you know, maybe I have to shave back a, a battery cable. Um, I don't know why. You, you can buy a four-year-old car, and it, it never fails. Once a month, you're going to find where somebody has just hacked up a battery terminal job and you end up on the side of the road having to fix it so um, you know we're cutting off zip ties whatever I don't need a big heavy-duty knife this thing is extremely sharp it's the uh, Spyderco Dragonfly with a 20 CV blade it does everything I need it to do for this purpose built pack I keep a lighter on me I don't smoke however uh, I run across smokers all the time ask me if I have a lighter it's, you know it's just nice to have one in case they ask um, in the back here, one thing I think you should keep in every pack, I keep a spare charge cord from my phone. Um, we've all been in situations where we didn't have a charge cord or you know, our phone's going dead. It's, it's great to have that spare charge cord all the time. Most cars I get in nowadays have a USB I can just simply plug it right into. Uh, probably should have the battery, the, the cigarette lighter adapter. But just to be honest, it's, it's, it's a little bulky and creates a, huge, a big bulge in this pack, so I don't keep it. Um, one other thing, I don't know that everybody thinks about this. I don't see it in a whole lot of pouches. This is the drugs. Um, these are just ibuprofen, guys. But, um, you know, if, if you're on a pain regimen and have to take pain medicine, if you're on a, a, a medicine that you need to keep you alive, I don't know a single person that's on medication like that that... Has it missed a day before? My point is you always end up with a, with a couple extra at the end of the month. Put those in a little bag if they're not a narcotic. Um, I don't know the laws. I'm not a lawyer. I can't tell you the legalities to carrying a narcotic in a bag like this. The, the right cop, you could probably go to jail. But, um, you know, keep a couple extra of your stuff that you really need um, on a daily basis. Or even if it's not prescription stuff, you know, you can keep a couple of Tylenol. You can keep some some sinus medicine, whatever, keep that in your pack so that you always have it. Um, for me, it's not necessarily about not being able to get it, because like I said, I'm not stranded in the woods with this bag, but um, it's just another 15 minute stop at a rest stop, paying an inflated price for, for a couple of Sudafed. I don't like doing that, so I keep stuff like in this pack. Um, I'm gonna put do another one of these videos on a more uh, universal uh, EC pouch that I have. This one is just the one that I carry almost, I, I used to carry almost every day when I was in that line of work, and it was just a lifesaver. I think everybody should put together a purpose-built EDC pouch for whatever it is you do. Anything that can make your life easier, save you a trip to the store, save you time on the job so that you can get home and enjoy the rest of your day. It's a, it's a life changer. Um, that's all I got for you guys today. That's all that's in my little pack here. And... As always, I appreciate you guys spending your time with me. Peace, and I love y'all.